My name is Louise Cluley and I'm the reserve manager here at Martin Meir Wetland Centre. So they're the pink-footed geese and they breed in Iceland and Greenland. That's it, so we'll see February and March the geese coming back through. Um, they don't stop with us as much, um, but the numbers do increase. We've got um, a couple of lovely local farmers, actually one comes all the way from Formby and drops us um, some waste potatoes. So just in front of the, the hail hide, there's a large area of, um, of mouldy potatoes, which the pink-footed geese do love. And that will be absolutely heaving full of geese in, in February time as they're just fattening up again that last little energy store to get them back up to Iceland and into breeding condition. So they always fly in this V formation. Is, is that... Is that who chooses who leads? So it'll um it'll be quite often mum or dad is in the in the front of the V and um that's the hardest position to be in. If anybody's a um what a, a professional cyclist, being at the front of the group, you've got all the brunt of the wind and um uh, and you're taking all of the um all of the velocity and things like that. Whereas the people um or the, the geese in the V formation, the eddies that are caused by the wind on their wings helps the ones behind, so it's much easier. Um, so they're pretty much flying in their slipstream, and uh, it's fantastic. So the goslings are quite often in the slipstream because it makes it easier for them. Mum and dad will switch, and there'll be other families as well. Those parents will, will take their turn at the front of the V. And how do they know where to go? So that will be, a lot of it will be um, learnt from their parents. So the goslings, they're with mum and dad until they're three months old, until they can fly. And then they fly together to their wintering ground, so they're shown which way to go. They're shown all the feeding fields, so all throughout winter they're going out, they're feeding away. And mum and dad are showing them all these fantastic places to feed. And then they'll also show them how to get back as well. So they get that full year of um, just solid learning and they probably won't breed themselves until they're around about four years old um so they'll um they'll be naughty teenagers for the first couple of years then they'll find themselves a mate get that pair bond going um and they you know quite often they'll mate for life unless there are a few divorces um and uh but then then in four years time we'll hopefully see them with their first goslings